Hello there, Turtle fans, and welcome back to another Bay 12 figure review. And today we are reviewing that second of those four turtle packs. We're reviewing the Leonardo versus Rocksteady, the leader of the turtles. Well, usually, usually the leader of the turtles. Um, and of course, Rocksteady, man, Rocksteady. They had to do Rocksteady and Bebop in this line when when they started doing these awesome two packs. Uh, they're they're iconic. They're they're two of the most recognizable, not necessarily main villains. I would say because they're they're really just recognizable goofy henchmen, but um, iconic, iconic villains from the Turtle cartoon, of course. So here's the awesome packaging. Once again, you got that awesome got that awesome Turtle packaging. Turtle Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the top. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the bottom. You got the four turtles versus the four villains in this line on the back. I really hope they keep doing these two packs, though. While, while we will be doing all four, and this one you could find on Walmart shelves, um, but while, they, while, the, while we will be reviewing all four of these two packs, I really hope they keep doing this line, because Playmates, I think, absolutely nailed it with this line. Again, I, I talked about it a little bit in the first um, two-pack review with uh, Raphael and Triceraton. Um, and, and that is, I, I don't think they're a big contend, contender versus NECA, but I think in terms of quality and articulation and scale, I think they're a good runner-up to NECA, um, quite personally. I, I think this is a really, really good line. They're just a little bit more affordable than the NECA 2-packs. They're just a little bit easier to find than some of the NECA 2-packs. And, I mean, this is a good way to get of course, the four turtle characters and some really cool looking villains. Now, that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's take a look at Leo and Rocksteady. I've, I've been looking forward to getting to this one because um, Rocksteady is, is one of my favorite turtle characters. I just, I just love the goofiness of Rocksteady and Bebop. And... They, of course, come with some awesome, awesome weapons. Leo comes with his sig his signature katanas. Rocksteady comes with a machine gun and a machete. Just like the rest, they come with figure stands as well. Now, Rocksteady has a name on his. I don't know why they didn't put Triceraton's name on his for some reason, but Rocksteady's actually named on his. Well, I, I know he's a, I know he's a generic guy, but they still could have put Triceraton on. Well, yeah, but still, I'm just saying. You know, if they if they took the time to name literally everyone else in the line, you know, they could have named the the one other figure. Like out of out of twelve figures, only one of them doesn't have a name on his sewer grate, which I think is kind of weird. So. That's just that's just my two cents on that. Anyway, I'm gonna start off with Rocksteady here, cause I mean, I mean, while Leo's cool, Rocksteady really does it for me in this line. I mean, look at this dude. Look, look at that. That face sculpt is really awesome. He has his little his little helmet here is removable. Get that off. Pew. His helmet is removable. Which, that's an awesome little little bit of detail. Um, I see why they had the rubber band on that. Because that is very loose. That comes off very easily. So, don't display your rock steady upside down if you want the helmet to stay on. Um, fully articulated head is on a ball joint. Although, with the size of the head, y you don't get a ton of, of articulation. With that ball joint, I mean, you, you get a good enough amount of articulation, I think, but not a ton, and that's mostly due to the character's design. Fully articulated shoulder joints, bicep, double-jointed elbows, wrist joints, waist, hips, double-jointed knees, and right there above the boot, nothing at the ankle because, I mean, he's wearing big leather boots, so he's probably not going to have a whole lot of you know, ankle jointage, but he does have 
good articulation right there. I love, I love the little bandana. And then of course you've got the bandolier with all the ammo on there. You've got some grenades. A lot of awesome stuff went into this character design. I feel like they nailed Rocksteady. I can't wait to get to Bebop also and show him off. But there you go. You can you can have him one hand his one hand his uh, rifle and hold his machete. In the other hand, or okay, I mean because you know you could have him sword fight with. Uh, with uh, Leo there, or of course he can grip his grip his rifle there. I just love how commando this guy looks. Yeah, that helmet just does not stay on very well. There we go. Yeah, very very sweet, very awesome figure. His helmet's gone forever now. I guess just pick the pose with the helmet. Um, I wish the helmet was just a little bit tighter on the mold, just a little bit, because it, it, like I said, it just it just comes off really easy. So once you once you pose them, then put the helmet on, as you can see, because it just comes off very easily. Again, not a bad. <laughs> it's gone again. <laughs> not a bad rock steady figure. Um, you're you're looking at about, I mean, because these are like forty dollar two packs, so you're looking at about twenty dollars in value for this fully articulated six inch scale figure. Again, really good value for this line. Not quite as nice as NECA, but for the durability of the joints, once again, the accessories are cool. Um, the detail on these figures are really good, and and in some cases they're a little bit easier to find than some of their NECA counterparts. Um, I think there's good value with the Playmates version. Now we're on to Leo here. Leo is also fully articulated, has the same articulation as Raphael, but in case you didn't watch that review, go back and watch that review. Uh, head is on a ball joint, fully articulated shoulders, upper bicep, double jointed elbows, wrist joints, and again, those awesome, awesome individually articulated fingers individually articulated and the thumb that thumb articulation is awesome waist hips upper thigh double jointed knees ankles and individual toe joints he has his sheaths on the back of his shell as he should so he can sheath both of his swords or of course he can hold both of his swords we can get some Pretty cool poses with him on his figure stand here. go get those get those swords in his hands and there you go got him in that like kind of crouched position and there he is facing off against Rocksteady and for comparison here he is thanks Rocksteady keep that helmet on bro here he is next to his brother Raphael that we reviewed in the first video so you can see those guys side by side and of course as we do these videos we'll show off all four turtles with each other and there you go Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's review of the Playmates Walmart exclusive two-pack featuring Rocksteady and Leo of the Teenage Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classic cartoon two-packs. Love these. Again, really good value, really good figures, great quality, great articulation, especially in the Turtles. 
Um, yeah, I, I I'd still dig the the turtles specifically. I dig more than the NECA v versions. Um, jury's still out on the villains so far. I think NECA did did the bad guys a bit better, but as far as articulation on the turtles, I think I think the play these Playmates versions are a little unmatched so far. And that's that's just my opinion. Let us know in the comments what you guys think about that. But stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Cowabunga, dudes.